Hey, event planners, welcome back to Event Planning Blueprint TV. I'm Melanie from eventplanningblueprint.com. On today's show, I'm sitting down with Leisha Tobias from Soul Power, and we're talking about trade shows, including how to get and keep vendors coming back to your trade show. Leisha, welcome to our show. Thank you so much for being here. And I'd love to hear a little bit more about Soul Power and your role there. Fantastic, Melanie. Thanks for having me. Um, so Soul Power is a production and entertainment company. Um, we provide all sorts of production and entertainment for all of your event uh, planning needs. Um, I've been with the company about a year now, and I was actually brought on to help uh, produce one of our trade shows called Showtime, mm -hmm. which is a special events trade show um, that we host. Uh, we just welcomed our seventh show, so it's an amazing. exciting time for us here at Soul Power. That's amazing. And so That's the sh just tell us a little bit more about what you mean by it being an event or a special event trade show. So basically anybody planning any type of special event would come to our trade show. Um, all of our vendors, uh, we have vendors in every avenue from videographers, caterers, um, decor people. So any avenue you're looking to fill, we help you plan your event from start to finish. That's awesome. Like very specialized. I like it. It's a good niche market. And when you were talking about vendors, how do you get the vendors? I know you've been in production for seven years, but you still, um, and you probably have some reoccurring vendors coming back year after year, but how, can you just walk us through the process of getting a vendor and keeping vendors? Absolutely. Um, we do absolutely have repeat vendors, which is, you know, fantastic for us. We have a lot of the leaders in the industry coming um, out every year with us. However, um, to keep the show interesting and fresh every year, um, we definitely do look for new vendors and I think a big part of that is understanding who your target audience is um, and going after vendors who really suit the show mm -hmm. um, it's really uh, quality over quantity um, so going after the right vendors that will enhance the show is is really really important to us and providing them with as much information as possible so they can exhibit properly I think is a key to getting the vendor, keeping them happy, getting them to come back year after year. Yeah, yeah, I think that's key. And it takes a lot less work to try and keep them than trying to go out and find new vendors all the time as well. And so you had mentioned a couple of things like um, keeping the show fresh year after year, which I know is something that many event planners struggle with um, or a production company struggle with, especially if you have a show that's been going on as long as yours has. And, you know, people are going up to the booths. Are there any tips that you can share on how to give that wow factor at a booth? Absolutely. I think especially if you have the same vendors coming back year after year, you definitely have to change it up. I think the biggest mistake that vendors make is sort of coming with their same setup year after year and expecting people to be enticed by it. You have to keep it fresh. You have to have something new and exciting for the attendees to come to draw them into their booth. So any new products, obviously staying on top of the trends, showing what's the hottest thing right now in whatever industry it is, you need to stay on top of it. Yeah. Um, I think also um, having a nice little giveaway for the person to walk away with always helps. Um, so it's nice to have, you know, some type of a little gift with a business card attached so that people can walk away and remember for you. Nice. And do you have any favorites that you can think of? Oh, there's seen? so many. There's so many. I think it depends on, you know, what booth you're looking for. Obviously for caterers, I think having um, a sample of, you know, the newest, hottest dish is, yeah. is certainly key in having the people try it for themselves. Um, I think it's really nice yeah. to, you know, have them walk away with something that they can take home, be it, you know, a frozen dried hot chocolate with a little business card attached or, you know, um, seeds to plant herbs, something like that is always nice. nice. Um, just something that you can take away. So you enjoy the experience while you're with them, have the delicious food with you, and yet you still get to walk away memory. Yeah, that sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah. I like the sound of that. Food sampling is one of my favorite things. <laughs> and what do you, how do you, um, I mean, aside from maybe event sponsorship, um, which we can talk about a little bit, how do trade shows actually make money? So I think it's a combination of a few things. Um, 
definitely through advertising is a great way to do it. Um, essentially, your vendors are, are bringing the money in for you. Um, you know, you are obviously, when you produce a show, the, the vendor is paying a fee, which certainly helps things. You can also look into charging a fee at the door. Our particular trade show doesn't do so, um, but it's certainly a tool that you can use um, to bring revenue to the show. So if you are charging at the door, how do you manage the people coming in or crowd control? Uh, a few ways. Definitely security at the door. Uh, very, very important. Um, we also have... Um, staff throughout the entire show to guide the attendees along the way. So it's definitely in a very organized fashion, which I think is really, really important. Yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah. Proper, yeah. You need to have the proper staff there to, to manage every situation. Yeah, absolutely. And so just let's just go back to the vendors for a second, because they're obviously an integral part of your trade show and of any trade show. And, you know, you've been in doing this for seven years or the company's been doing it for seven years. So there's that, I suspect there's a sense of community there as well, because a lot of the vendors will know each other. Um, how do you promote networking within the vendors or do you promote networking within the vendors to create that community? We absolutely do. And I think that that for us, that's a really, really big piece. Um, especially for Soul Power, we definitely try to support the vendors that support us year after year. So I think it's really nice, even within the producers and the vendors to, you know, partner throughout the year, keep that relationship ongoing throughout the year, um, and try to work together as much as possible throughout the year. Um, definitely at the show itself, I try to introduce, you know, new vendors to new vendors. And it, it really is a sense of community and everybody gets to help each other out. And, you know, they really are all at the top of their field. So it's important to have everybody know each other and, and help each other out and uh, we all work together as a family which is really nice yeah that's great and uh, it makes your job a lot easier I'm sure yeah and are there any um, social media outlets that you use like before or during the the trade show Absolutely. Very important. Uh, we definitely take advantage of, of social media, as I think anybody in this day and age would. Um, absolutely. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat are, are all tools that we definitely use and find very, very effective. Yeah. Um, Snapchat as well, you said? Yeah, I think yeah. Snapchat is the new the new way. Yeah. Um, it, you know, it's exciting. It's it's to see a little video. You know, is a new spin of just seeing a you know a still picture. And you know, definitely throughout the show, I think it's fun to to use Snapchat and and show people even for next year. You know, what they're what they're missing by sitting at home and yeah. and and watching it. And it also sort of uh, creates a sense of excitement. You know, absolutely. I love that, and I love that you're already thinking ahead to the next one. Of yeah, course. yeah, yeah really to. important. Absolutely. That's great. Um, and so do you have a specific app set up for the trade show? Do you guys do, me? do you have a specific app set up for the trade show? Do you have your own app like where we, people can? We don't as of yet. Yeah. Um, definitely something we could think about for the future though. Yeah. Just, I was just curious. Not everybody does, but uh, yes. you know, sometimes it's, uh, it's used to help communicate during the, during the actual trade show. So let's just talk a little bit about like the sales or the administrative side of, of your job. And, you know, maybe you can just share with us kind of what a day in the life looks like, um, or one of your favorite pieces of your job. You know what? I, I love um, searching out new vendors. I love bringing that excitement to the show. I love the, the new creative energy that new vendors bring. So for me, it's really exciting to go out and get those new vendors. Um, I love the, the setting up of the booths. I think that's so exciting to see, you know, what new you know, pieces uh, everybody is going to bring. So I think those two things for me are the most exciting elements of, of planning the show. And of course, on the night of seeing it all come together, all of your hard work um, is very rewarding. Of course. And so do you plan, are you always planning a year in advance? Like, you know, your event ends and the next day you're starting for the following year? We are. We are. You know yeah. what, it's interesting because the show ends and, you know, you sort of think that you're going to put it away and you don't because you're you're constantly thinking of, you know, everything, you know, that, that happened in the other show and you're trying to figure out how to make it 
bigger and how to make it better and when it's fresh in your mind I find is the best way to really sit down at the drawing board and, and start planning for next year yeah absolutely I would agree with that for sure and so let's just talk about that for a second because there's um, you know I think it's really important to to have that next event in mind but also to follow up with like your vendors do you have a process or do you have any tips on how to stay in contact throughout the year with your vendors or those key personnel that are um, at your event Absolutely. Um, I mean, I certainly personally try to circle through the show on the actual night of and just check in with all the vendors and make sure that, you know, everything is going smoothly and they're happy. Um, we also do a follow up the next day with all of our vendors to see, you know, how everything went for them. Um, and definitely, like I said, throughout the year to keep those relationships alive and try to send them work and try to include them in the events that we produce here at Soul Power. Um, so it's, it's really a constant communication and, and we're always, it's not a once a year kind of a thing. We're sort of always in you communication, which is nice for them and it's nice for us and it makes working together the night of the show so much more fun. Frankly. Yeah, yeah, because you become you become friends often as well. You right? do. Yeah. You do. You you uh, hit the nail on the head when you said that there's a real sense of community. There really is. Yeah, I love it. Well, I want to thank you so much for sharing this information with us um, and just let us know how we can get in touch with you or Soul Power and find out more about uh, the trade show. Absolutely. You can certainly check us out at Soul Production, soulpowerproductions.com and you can absolutely check out Showtime at showtimeexpo.ca. Awesome. Thanks, Alicia. Thank you so much for sharing your insights and uh, we wish you well for the next trade show coming up. Um, and if you guys have any questions about trade shows, we'd love to hear them. Feel free to ask us in the comment box below. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Event Planning Blueprint TV and we will see you at eventplanningblueprint.com. Thanks very much. Have a great day.